So I've just picked Dan the cameraman up and we're on our way to my latest pub purchase which is about 25 miles away from where I live. Don't normally come this far out for standard investment properties or commercial investment properties. But for those of you who are following me, sorry I've got Toblerone sweet in my mouth, which I couldn't be quite trapped. But for those of you who have been following me for a little while, know that I stumbled on buying a pub and then trading it in one of my developments. And I've been buying pubs for years with never a second thought about getting rid of them and making them into residential. But this uh, this pub that I bought uh, like five, maybe six years ago now, we had to retain part of it as a pub. So instead of having five flats out of it, we decided to go for four flats and reduce the size of the pub down to what was effectively flat number five, a studio apartment, with a view that it wouldn't work and in 12 months time, we could prove that it wouldn't work and turn it into the fifth flat. Um, but 12 months later, that pub, that trade and business was worth more to me in terms of net income than the four flats that I'd put in the rest of the pub. And what I'd done is I'd stumbled across a great way to maximize the income from a property. And I reduced the cost so much in terms of business rates, in terms of staff, by making the pub a lot smaller. So I'm now like in this unexpected position where I'm buying properties like I always have done for the um, ability to create large amounts of um, wealth and value out of it. But at the same time, if I can retain it as a community wet-led pub, which is where I want to be at, then I will. And that is why we're on our way 25 miles away from home to the latest purchase. The only problem is, is I looked at it well over a year ago and um, it's taken that period of time to negotiate on the price. And again, it, it sold to two other people in the meantime, the negotiations were that hard. But each time it had the through, which is which is great for me. And in the end, they came to me with a blank heads of terms and said, what are you going to give us? We want rid of it. So I was right at my own price. And when you do that, you can't really say no, no matter where the property is or what condition it's in. Now, I haven't been there since I first bought it, but my architect and the builder has, and they tell me it's in a much worse condition than, um, than the photos I sent. And they said part of the ceiling has collapsed in the bar, so that's going to be interesting. And um, I'll, we'll go through the two options the architect has suggested in terms of flats or rooms when we get there. 